Hi, I'm Captain Ricky Wheeler, and today I'm going to teach you how to tie a tournament snell. So the reason we call it a tournament snell is it's definitely the snell you want to be tying to your hooks, especially your circle hooks that don't have welded eyes, especially during tournaments because you want your strongest knots, your best game every tournament, and really that's the way you should fish every day, fish tournament style every day. So what the tournament snell does is it alleviates the pressure of the leader on this little spot here. When you tie a regular snell, your main um, leader line comes down through and if you get a lot of pressure it's going to rub on this little spot right there you can see and it can create like a small nick and uneven pressure on your leader and goodbye fish so we don't want that and for the purpose of today's video i'm going to use 80 pound main line so you can easily see exactly what i'm doing so what we do is start off you're going to do a regular snail come up through the bottom of the eye like so loop around and instead of laying it here you are going to come back up through that eye underneath your main line underneath the main part of your leader line here all right and then you do the same thing as you would on a back snell you wrap here once then you start wrapping back up so there's one two three four five six seven grab your teeth or whatever pull tight and there is your tournament snell cut off the tag end right here and ready to go so as you can see, the main line here of your leader, I'll try to press it out a little bit so you can see, is laying on top of that tag and then you pass back through, which is taking all the pressure off of your line. So right there you got a nice solid pull, and that is your tournament snell. Strong as can be, that's a snell you want to tie every time whenever you're using circle hooks, or really any hooks for that matter. Because most hooks you use are not going to have a welded eye and they're always going to have that little tiny sharp spot right there that you do not want to have pressure on your line with. So I'll show you one more time but I'm going to show you from my perspective and I'll do it all the way around so you can get a good look on how it really goes and how you really tie it. Alright so here we go from the view in front of you. Take this line, go right through the eye, pull off a fair amount like so come back around and you're going to go back up through so here I'll move my hand so you can see you already threw the eye one time and you're going to go through the eye yet again alright you want to leave a little bit of tag in like that but not too much make sure you have enough here to wrap go around the shank alright and I'm using these fingers right here to kind of pinch this and hold it all together so now you want to come back up just like your back stone so there's one wrap two three four five six seven so there you are right there that's where everything's at so what you got to do now is you, i'll grab my teeth gonna come out of frame so when we get to here after we did our seven wraps back up the shank um you gotta pull this out so usually i just kind of grab here and i'll grab my teeth and just pulls that right out pull nice and tight and snug Simple as that, natural tournament snell. Cut off the tag end. I usually cut it pretty close, about that much. And now you're protected. So because you did the back snell, that wrap is underneath all these, all these wraps here. It's not exposed. And also, as you can see, your tag end that you went back through the second time with is now protecting your main leader line. So this has so much more cushion now and you have full full strength of your rated pound test leader line so there you go that's tournament snail and then what i usually do for bill fishing like sail fishing marlin white marlin anywhere i've ever been this is what i use like 6070 circle hook of your choice sometimes 80 and usually 60 pound fluoro or 80 pound floor 80 pound main line definitely doesn't trick pull off an arm's length i'll do a perfection loop at the end Pull tight with the hook. There you go. A lot of people like to crimp it. Um, I don't have a problem with perfection loop. Whatever works best for you. But there's your leader. And slip this right into your circle hook ballyhoo. Or whatever bait you're pulling. And game on. Go catch yourself some billfish.